Your old buddy Kevy Brassard back here again, seeking some Toyota 4Runner 3.03 VRE advice. So, recently did the te the head gaskets on this old girl. Uh, she blew on the rear number six. That all taken care of. Was running like shit, overheating. Bad new thermostat. Replaced that with the old thermostat. Running like a champ, not overheating, sending heat through the cab, everything's hunky-dory, but it's got a little bit of a stumble. I thought I might have a vacuum leak, because some of these vacuum hoses were a little confusing over here. Some of them weren't even hooked up. Some of them were blocked off from the start, so I went the route of the EGR Delete. Got the LCE Performance Toyota kit, got a block-off plate there. We got a block-off plate down there, and we got a block-off plate right over there so we got the caps and stuff with the kit as well capped off these two capped off that bad boy down there um removed a lot of these vacuum lines up through here just ran a little loop de doop on there put a cap right there there was nothing on here to begin with when i tore it apart uh, i got my fuel pressure regulator hooked up she goes over here Comes back down under the plenum over here and loops back up to there. That seems as is as normal. These two lines with the bolts and the whole, uh, zip ties, I believe those are for the power steering um, advance or whatever you'd want to call it uh, to help keep the idle up when you're turning the wheel. Um, those were already blocked off to begin with. Actually, one of these hoses they had looped up and just stuck on there, so I put a bolt in there and uh, that already had a bolt in it. Just put a little zip tie. Uh, zip tie action so charcoal canister is all unhooked that didn't seem to make a difference i just unhooked that or the remaining lines at least this guy down here was already plugged off and so was this guy i'm not sure exactly what either of those are too um they could be part of my problem i guess these solenoids are doing nothing down here nothing was hooked up to those um i put the new o2 sensor in and I got that bolt in there to seal that up. I got these air boxes back on here. Uh, as one guy said, I still got the donkey dick on here. Got a plug down here and that hole. And I got the old bolt electrical tape plug in there. Seems to be working pretty good. Um, I did notice last night I had a spark plug wire that wasn't on all the way, but it was still acting just as normal. I stuck her back on there and she's still causing me a fit. So we'll start her up and we'll show you the diagnosis here. Got a little bit of a high idle. It'll calm down once it uh, runs for a minute. Uh, it's pretty warmed up right now actually because I was driving it around just trying to play with some stuff. Um, you can hear it through the exhaust. It's stumbly. It's I don't know exactly what's going on here. You can't really tell up here. I really fast it. It's kind of hard to hear it. So I'll get down here with you guys. If I'm under load going down the road, uh, if I really juice her, she seems to run okay. It's pretty good. But when you're just cruising, uh, an overdrive, driving the heavy Chevy around everywhere and the heavy Kevy Chevy uses a lot of heavy gasoline. So anybody that can give me any insight on this, uh, I'm gonna consult with my boss as well a little bit more and just consult with everybody that I know that would have a better idea. I'm not much of an automotive mechanic. I'm gonna try to post this on the Toyota forum tonight. See what I can get. Anybody help me, please. I need my forerunner back in action. 